Clothes dryer exhaust. This is another deficiency that's gone from one of the lowest scoring unit defects to one of the highest scoring. I was personally shocked when I first read this new standard. REAC is calling a disconnected or clogged dryer vent on an electric dryer life-threatening. And in discussing this with one of my colleagues, I was told he had heard secondhand that they've justified this by statistics that show that fires are caused by dryer vent issues as often on electric dryers as they are on gas dryers. So where a laundry area deficiency for a dryer vent was typically worth about a tenth of a point on the old UPCS version of the REAC inspection, any dryer vent issue will now be worth 2.4 points under INSPIRE. Keep in mind here that I'm basing all these scoring values on a 100 unit property, which means 25 units would be inspected. If you haven't watched any of the videos that explain scoring calculations, here's the short version. All life-threatening deficiencies in a unit have a base value of 60 points. We divide this by the number of units being inspected. If we're inspecting 25 units, we divide 60 by 25, and the result is 2.4 points. Now, senior and ADA accessible properties that have call for aid devices are going to find their REACT priorities sharply altered. Call for aid devices are another one of these issues that used to be very low scoring that's now very high scoring. Properties with laundry hookups in their units are also going to have to alter their compliance strategies very significantly. So anyway, let's get right to the definitions on this. All of these deficiencies are worth 2.4 points, assuming a 25 unit sample, except for deficiency number four. Deficiency one and two are essentially identical, except that deficiency one deals with electric dryers and deficiency two addresses gas dryers. In either case, deficiency one or two, the transition duct is detached or missing. The transition duct is the duct between the dryer itself and the permanent duct work inside the wall. REACT doesn't have us inspecting for this, but just as an aside here, it might be good to note that dryer ducts should never have screws or other types of fasteners that intrude to the inside of the vent, the inside of the duct, and might catch lint. Deficiencies three and six are essentially identical. I'm not sure why they separated them instead of putting them side by side like one and two, but deficiencies three and six are essentially identical except for that one, again, applies to electric, the other applies to gas dryers. In either case, the system has restricted airflow. There's some kind of clog in the ductwork, a crushed transition duct, maybe a bird's nest in the cover um, or in the ductwork, you name it. Any kind of obstruction, like a dog head. <laughs> While I was researching this, in other words, when I was looking at silly stuff on the internet, uh, instead of working, I found a picture of a dog who chewed his way through the dryer vent in his house so he could see what was going on outdoors. I'm not sure whether we'd put that under detached transition or obstructed airflow. Anyway, let's look at, let's skip deficiency four for a moment. Let's look at deficiency five. Deficiency five says, the dryer transition duct is not constructed of metal or an approved material. REAC has not elaborated on what we're gonna consider appropriate materials. Although I think it's fair to say, we expect gas dryers to have metal ductwork, not plastic. Least but not last, at only eight one hundredths of a point if cited during a 25 unit sample inspection, is deficiency four. The exterior cover or cap or a component thereof is missing, i.e., there is evidence of a prior installation, but it's now not present. And notice this is an exterior only deficiency. By looking at the scoring chart on the simplified definitions, you can see which deficiencies can be recorded under units, which can be recorded under inside, and which can be recorded under outside. So what is a missing component of a cover? That would include individual slats, 
Of course, we may find various kinds of damage and clogging, missing slats, missing covers, etc., and dog heads. I, you knew that was coming. Thanks for viewing. This is Michael Gant, the React Guru for the Inspection Group, and I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have, please go below and click like, or even consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again.